communication. The Jigpo Forward Office's new director, Captain Philip Old, and their deputy director, Major Darren Alvarez, told lawmakers that the SEIS will look at new alternatives for both the cantonment area and the firing range complex because of the reduced number of Marines that will be stationed on Guam. There will now be about 5,000 Marines stationed on Guam and two-thirds will be rotational. They will rotate every six months, but as soon as one group rotates out, another one will rotate into the island, keeping the number at a constant level of 5,000 Marines. The suggested laydown obviously requires a reanalysis of certain actions that we decided in the 2010 record of decision. Now we're going to be going back and looking at the cantonment, which is basically the main side base, also looking at the family housing, and then lastly, any of the supporting infrastructure required to bring those Marines and set up that base structure. The SEIS will also include a new look at the live firing range training complex. The record of decision in 2010 identified an area along Route 15, including Pocket Village, as their preferred site. The National Trust for Historic Preservation, the Guam Preservation Trust, and We Are Guahan filed a lawsuit against this selection, and DOD eventually opted to conduct a new EIS on the selection of a firing range using a new method of calculating the area in which stray bullets can land or the surface danger zone. We had to definitely open this process up one more time to properly look. I mean, realistically, we did not look at certain areas simply because they wouldn't fit the Marines. The range wouldn't fit at that present uh, or at that, that past way that we were figuring out the range. So with all these, that's why we've really opened this process up. We just want to take a better look. The SES will not be nearly as big in scope as the first EIS that was conducted. In fact, the SEIS will rely on and use a lot of information in the former study. Now some actions, as I briefed at the beginning, some actions from the 2010 record decision will still remain in place. So we will not analyze them in the SEIS. The Tinian training, the ACE that's going to be at Anderson Air Force Base, the non-live fire training at Anderson South, and the Apra Harbor Wharf improvements. Many of those projects that are still in place are going to continue forward.